In my experience, women don't want a man to be emotional. So we just took that part out, right? The problem here is that you and I have a different definition of what emotional is. It's totally okay to express your emotions, no matter what your emotion is. My rule is say what you mean without saying it mean. So express what you want to say, just don't be mean about it. And that's the biggest issue that we have with men. Society has taught men that the only emotions that they're allowed to express are anger and frustration or intensity, aggression. Society hasn't taught men that it's okay to be vulnerable, to be nurturing, to admit that they're sad or that they're hurt. There are women that also do not know how to handle their emotions or the emotions of other people. And therefore they won't be comfortable around a man's emotions. But a woman who has a healthy relationship with her emotions will be totally okay with another man showing his healthy emotions. Both people need to give each other a safe place to express their emotions. So therefore your emotions do need to be safe as well. So if you're a man and your only way of knowing how to express your emotions is with anger, with raising your voice, with criticizing others, with being aggressive, or acting like a victim, like you have no control over your emotions, that's not attractive either. Women are totally okay with a man crying at a movie, crying at a funeral, crying <laughs> at a wedding. It's totally okay to express emotions as long as your emotions aren't hurting the people around you. If you're a man that can express his emotions in a healthy way without getting angry or aggressive, and you're around a woman who can't handle that, then rejection is just redirection. She's letting you know you're not for her, she's not for you, so you just move on. But a healthy woman loves to be around a healthy man who can be vulnerable and express his emotions in a safe way.